I'm David Mira. I'm the Rector of St. Bride's in Fleet Street. I've been here now for just over 10 years in this wonderful church, just set back from Fleet Street, but right in the heart of what used to be newspaper land. Uh, now, sadly, the newspapers have scattered to the four corners of London, but we still retain very strong links with all the, the national uh, newspaper groups and with the broadcasters too, and very much remain the spiritual home for the media in London. When the, the, the presses were uh, all around St Bride's, we used to get a lot of uh, newspaper people coming in, obviously the, the memorial services. Um, it was the parish church for the industry. While we retain those links, uh, now of course the, our neighbours are mostly bankers and lawyers. Uh, there's some of the big firms up and down the street and all those others who, who live and work in this area. My name is uh, Bill Greaves, uh, William Greaves by byline, and uh, my Fleet Street days were spent entirely with the Daily Mail. I came down from Manchester as a reporter with the Daily Mail, uh, as a reporter to Fleet, in Fleet Street and then a uh, feature writer. And then I went off to become a freelance at about the time that everybody left Fleet Street anyway. I think all of us over the years have found ourselves in pretty dire straits and you know, wondered whether we would survive that particular period. Some alas didn't and those of us who did survive are very grateful to have done so. So um, yes, it brings us all together. Vivian Margaret Strecker, when you are baptised you become a member of a new family. God takes you for his own child and all Christian people will be your brothers and sisters. We were actually married in St Bride's four years ago, which was a very happy occasion indeed. And that's why we wanted to choose the church for Vivian's baptism. Vivian, Margaret, I baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. sort of go into the church and it, it's a very um, welcoming environment but at the same time it's very beautiful um, and that's a, a very nice combination. We also think the, the music is outstanding. We had the choir as part of our wedding because we thought they were so brilliant during the services that we saw. I mean they're just nothing else. Yeah, it's amazing. St Bride's has got lots of literary associations as well as the, the uh, newspaper associations. We shouldn't forget that, that Fleet Street was an area of coffee houses, of people like um, uh, Samuel Johnson, later on Samuel Richardson, Oliver Goldsmith, uh, before him Milton Dryden. Many, many of the, the great literary people of the time would have known this area well, uh, including probably Jane Austen herself, uh, who would have seen the completed Wren Church uh, went on her visits to London. Jane Austen had a way of, uh, of putting things in an in a e elegant and uh, witty way. Uh, she, she, she loved words and she used words uh, with great elegance. Uh, that's something I think that all journalists aspire to. Lord, in your I think it's unfortunate that we are split up all over London now um, in, as far as London journalism is concerned. There was a tremendous bonhomie um, here among all the different newspapers and St Bride's played its very important part in that. But yes, we do come back. Um, we don't need Fleet Street if we've got St Bride's. <laughs>